Today, we're going to be talking about something that a lot of Rust builders overlook, just don't want to talk about, and that is going to be hiding. This isn't going to be about getting a base that's 69 explosives to raid, no. This is going to be about getting a base that someone raids and still doesn't find everything. Because if they can't find your good loot, they can't take your good loot no matter how many explosives they have. So let's just get into it with a few sort of simple ways that you can hide doors and windows. Specifically, when I'm talking about doors, we're talking about sort of those single doors and windows are just, well, windows. So the main items we're gonna be using to do this is a locker, a fireplace, and a tier three workbench. Over here too, we've got a uh, large storage box that we're using to hide a door frame, but we'll go over that a little bit later. So first off, we've got this combo right here. It'd be a locker, you get an armored off window, and nothing. So someone's going right into your base. They come into this. You want your locker to be unlocked so they can just open it up. They take everything and they move on. But if we go around to the behind section of this locker, you're going to see there's a whole nother space here. So what someone coming in is going to be looking at, they're going to be seeing something that's probably just a honeycomb. They're not going to want to bother with the locker. They think they've got all your good loot. But then over here, maybe you've got a box of guns or something like that just chilling. They don't even know it's there, and you can keep a lot of good stuff there. So when you're raided, you're not starting off from zero. Also, even here, look at this. Like, There's no wall right here, and I still can't really get a good angle to tell what's behind there. So a lot of people, they're just not going to worry about the locker because they're busy raiding your base and trying to get to the TC. So next up, let's talk about actually hiding the TC. You can do this in sort of three different ways, in my opinion. The first one is going to be with a locker. You put a locker like this, and what do you think is behind this wall? Well, if you've got a bunch of lockers, people are going to start to catch on. But if you've only got one and it's right by your door, people are going to think, again, it's just for quick gear switches and to get, get out there and raid people. But go ahead and pick this up, which we actually can't do. So let's just go ahead and destroy it. So just to explain myself while I'm going away and blowing this locker up, the reason I can't actually pick this locker up is because everything on this server, it's a build server just on PC, spawns with these code locks on them, and I, for whatever reason, can't pull the code locks off. So we're just blowing the locker up, but traditionally you can just pick up a locker. Also with all of this stuff, never put code locks on your lockers or anything that you're using to hide a door or a window, because if someone blows it up, they're going to see that door or that window, which is not good, obviously. So there we go, we just blew through it and you've got a door. So unknown to someone else, they just walked by, they looted the locker and they didn't realize there's a whole door behind here. They could be hiding something like a tool cupboard. Next up, you've got a fireplace and here you can see like, looking through this fireplace, you can obviously see that there's a door here. Maybe some very inexperienced raiders won't realize it, but it's pretty obvious. One thing though to keep in mind, You've probably got your wall here. It's still somewhat obvious, but it's a little less obvious, especially if you start putting in door frames, stuff like that. Someone comes in, they're coming in like this. Are they really going to be going over here just trying to get that edge on it? Probably not. They come in, see the fireplace. Of course, your base has to look like some sort of role-playing base. If they come in here and it's like loot boxes, perfectly stacked rooms, and then there's a fireplace, they're going to be like, well, what's up here? Let's just destroy this fireplace. But if they don't know that, if it's a role player base, they probably don't think about anything being behind here. And that's sort of how you slip it in. And again, assume that there's a door here. Now you can't even see, you have a hard time seeing this frame and you can't really go through this. But I, you, you see what I mean. There's some tweaks that you can make with this, but you hide the door frame with the fireplace and it's still, you can still sort of see it. It's not the best way to hide it, but it's one way that you could hide a door frame. And next up, we've got the tier three workbench. So again, this one you've got to consider you're coming like straight onto it, let's say. Knowing there's a door behind it, it's fairly obvious, but if you line it up right, it almost looks like a part of the backdrop. So someone's going to come in, hopefully here, they see your tier three, they just keep going. This is probably one of the more obvious ones, so I wouldn't recommend storing anything too crazy in this place, but you can use it in a pinch. A lot of raiders might just walk by it, especially if they're inexperienced. Also, make sure you've got a box under here because if you don't, it's very obvious that there's a door. But if you do it right and you line everything up, it sort of blends in with the background. People might not know what's going on. And if you put some decorations right up here, it makes it even harder to notice because, again, you can use decorations to sort of cover up that door frame right there. And now someone's going to come in. They're just going to see that T3 workbench and they're going to keep going. And again, someone will pick up your T3 workbench when they get your TC. But if your TC is behind that workbench, maybe just maybe they miss it. And next up, we're going to go over one more sort of little hiding place that you can use. And this would be using this sort of elevated um, half wall and door. I don't know, this sort of like elevated build right here. So what we've got here is we've got two half walls. We've got a floor on top of that. And then we've got our trusty box. 
But behind that box, there's a whole lot of loot. So you can set this up however you want. You could put a locker back here or something like that. Also, you could put a bag back here, but that sort of defeats the purpose. Um, but you can get access to basically this whole area just from this door frame. No one's going to be able to go through it. So it's sort of like a sneaky way to set yourself up so that you can actually like pass things back and forth. Maybe you have some sort of box that you can reach from here. Open the box like that, and you put this like this. And the hope would be that any would-be raiders are just going to walk right past this box. They're not going to know that there's anything back here. Meanwhile, maybe you've got your TC, you've got a box that you can use to pass stuff, and then you've got this little section under here that you can use. Also, it's perfect with the shotgun trap. You can set up a shotgun trap pointed right at this door. It's going to blow someone away, and worse still, if they actually want to get into it, depending on how your base is set up, maybe they've got to go all the way around and then crawl under to get there, or maybe they can't even do it. Maybe you've got a sleeping bag here, and it's a sort of bunker that you've created. Um, but if you're going to be doing a bunker, don't put your TC right here because someone blows through this box. They can obviously shoot your TC. You're going to want your TC behind another door. But you can see what I'm talking about here. There's a few different ways you can go about hiding things in Rust, and these are just a few of them. If you get very creative, you can come up with some really interesting ways to keep people from finding the very best loot. And one thing else that I'm going to say is when you're creating a base with all this stuff, the best thing you can do is convince someone that your TC is somewhere it's not. So here we've got a base like this. It's not completely built. I just didn't have time to do it. You come in here, you run around here, you get to this drop box right here. And despite all these windows and doors and everything that is probably going to have the TC, assuming it's all properly covered up using the techniques we talked about here, on the outside, someone looking at this base is just seeing a honeycombed two by two. They don't think there's anything in here. Maybe you leave a few windows open with furnaces. So they think, okay, you're using a few of those honeycombs. But yeah, they come in, run all the way through this base. They see the drop box. First thing they're going to think is right behind here. That's definitely where the TC is because they haven't found it yet. And especially when you go on the outside, you look at this. It looks like there could be a TC there, right? Like looking at this, prime TC location is right behind that drop box. They blew through that wall and there's absolutely nothing there. They're either going to get really pissed and level your base to the ground, or they're going to realize that this is a waste of their time, and they're not going to bother with your base anymore because they just don't know where the TC is. They had to figure they got all the good loot, and they just bail. So yeah, that's one of the things I like to do. You hide the important stuff, and you also misdirect. Drop boxes are a great way to do misdirection because a lot of raiders are going to think that you're creating some sort of drop box base, when in reality, you've just hidden everything behind hidden doors and lockers and everything like that. So... Yeah, again, this is sort of like a, a cool way that you can misdirect people, cause them to waste a lot more explosive than they should, and hopefully convince them not to raid your base, or at least get them so mad that they decide not to raid your base. But yeah, hopefully this video helped. If you have questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them down below in the comments. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.